Hi my learning friends, welcome to Grade 3 Math Series 1 Episode 1. Today we are going to learn about odd numbers. Ali was a curious boy who loved puzzles and adventures. One sunny afternoon, while exploring his grandmother's attic, he found an old rolled-up map with glittering edges. The title at the top read, The Land of Adonia, Home of the Odd Numbers. Intrigued, Ali gently unrolled it and saw a trail of numbers leading to a sparkling star-shaped treasure. But something was strange. Every number on the map was odd. What's going on? Ali whispered, examining the numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. He remembered from math class that odd numbers are numbers that can't be divided evenly by two. That meant these numbers had something in common, and they were all part of a hidden path. As he studied the map, it shimmered and lifted into the air, surrounding him in a bright whirl of gold. With a whoosh, Ali was swept into the land of Adonia. Ali landed in a colorful garden with bouncing flowers, laughing ladybugs, and number-shaped trees. Each tree had fruit shaped like numbers, but only the odd-numbered fruits were ripe. A talking squirrel named Scribble scurried up to him. Hello, traveler. To move forward, you must pick the odd fruits only. The even berry which has hidden her traps inside the even-numbered fruits. Ali looked at the number fruits, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. He thought aloud. Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So I'll pick 3, 5, and 7. As Ali picked each one, the garden lit up with cheers. The even-numbered fruits turned sour and vanished. Well done, said Scribbles. Adonia needs your help. The odd orb has been stolen by the evenberry witch. You must get it back. Further along the trail, Ali came to a wide river. Floating across it were stepping stones, each with a number on it. A sign read, Only the odd shall pass. Ali spotted numbers like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Some looked solid, while others wobbled suspiciously. Okay, Ali said, 8, 10, and 12 are even, they'll probably sink. But 9, 11, and 13 are odd. I'll jump on those. Step by step, Ollie bounced across the odd-numbered stones. When he mistakenly stepped on 10, it splashed and disappeared. Luckily, he caught his balance. On the other side, he found another clue, the odd orb is hidden in the cave of threes. Looks like I'm getting closer, Ollie said with a smile. Inside the cave of threes, everything echoed in triplets. Drip, drip, drip. Tap, tap, tap. Ollie stepped into the dim cave, guided by the glow of torches shaped like the number three. In the center stood a stone pedestal with nine mini pedestals around it. On each mini one was a number, two through ten. Scribbles appeared again and whispered, Only by placing odd numbers in the odd numbered slots can you release the odd orb. Ollie carefully placed the odd numbers, 3, 5, 7, and 9, on the odd slots, 1st, 3rd, 5th, and 7th. Suddenly, the cave trembled, and the orb of odd glowed with rainbow light. It floated into Ollie's hands. You've done it. Scribbles cried. Adonia is balanced again. The cave turned into a swirl of numbers, and before Ollie could say goodbye, he was transported back to the attic. The map gently floated to the floor, now dim and still, but Ollie knew it would shine again when the odd numbers needed him. Ollie's tip. Odd numbers are full of surprises. If a number ends in one, three, five, seven, or nine, it's odd, 
and totally awesome.